Hi everybody, Zeev Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master, the surgical training for dentists. Uh, welcome to another Surgical Master report. Uh, and this time I'm reporting from Tokyo, Japan. I'm here on a teaching mission as part of the USC Japan program. And it's a year-long program for Japanese dentists that want to further their education in advanced procedures in dentistry. And this weekend, I'm sharing the stage with two Japanese dentists. One of them is Dr. Ito, and the other one is Dr. Teranishi. And we are all co-presenters uh, this weekend at the USC Japan here in Tokyo. So for the first evening, our host, uh, Tomi, Tomi Yamashita from Dentec, uh, uh, treated us to a restaurant, a sushi restaurant, um, that, where the food was really good. I actually wanted to order some rolls. Uh, but I couldn't. Number one, there was no menu, and um, it was a chef's choice type of uh, restaurant. Number two, there are no rolls in Japan, so I didn't know that, so I couldn't order any rolls. Uh, but the food was uh, uh, really good. Uh, it was interesting to see that the wasabi in this restaurant is hand grated on shark skin, shark skin, which is uh, really interesting and unique. All in all, there are very interesting and unique things here in uh, Japan, like Starbucks coffee that can come with jelly. That's, uh, that's unique. Uh, there's also green tea Kit Kat, which uh, tastes really good and it's also uh, probably healthy for you. And uh, the course itself went very, very well. There were about 40 dentists from different places here in Japan, not just from Tokyo, and uh, here is the program for the first day. Uh, my name here is pronounced with a B, Zeb. And I'm called a sensei. Sensei is a teacher or professor. And uh, no problem with the spelling. Uh, the course was uh, a combination of lectures and hands-on experience. And uh, from what, what happened the first day, it was extremely hot, extremely hot and humid. And everybody was just using their... Uh, handouts and whatever they could put their hands on and were just trying to keep cool. It was just so hot and humid and if you were a, a, you know, a, prof a professional, uh, you brought a fan and again you did whatever you could to, to keep cool until the uh, air conditioning uh, kicked in. Uh, here I am with my uh, two co-presenters, uh, the two professors, very famous dentists here in Japan. Uh, Dr. Ito and Dr. Teranishi both have uh, very large study clubs. They are experts in uh, advanced implant surgery and uh, very complicated uh, restorations. They have a lot of following here in, in Japan. So it's an absolute pleasure to meet them and interact with them and also learn from them. I learned a lot of uh, uh, very good and new information that I can use in my own practice and teach. Uh, the course itself was very good. It uh, consists, uh, consisted of uh, talking about implant site development, how we can make the implant site better from a tissue quality perspective with different types of tissue manipulation, tissue grafting. I reviewed the different flap designs and uh, how we make incisions. Uh, the doctors in Japan were also very interested in computer-guided surgery and what are the techniques that I'm using to place implants very accurately and safely and and basically also enjoy the process. So that was one of the lecture topics. Uh, in, in particular, they were interested in how we work in those really narrow spaces in between teeth and how can we thread those implants in using computer guidance uh, without da damaging the adjacent teeth, making it really safe for the patient. So I shared my knowledge, I answered their questions and show them that the predictable way to place implants in narrow spaces and in any space for that matter is with computer guidance. So that went um, really well. Now sometimes it happens that uh, you get tired in a lecture, in a course, and you fall asleep. And it, it really, uh, I know this from first hand, uh, it's not a problem at all. Uh, no offense. I think that that's a great time to, uh, uh, you know, catch up on your sleep and, uh, you know, get some energy. So uh, 
that's why we had the hands-on. The hands-on allowed everybody to wake up and also to learn about immediate implant placement in the aesthetic zone. I also worked with the doctors on uh, different uh, flap designs, incisions, placing implants in the posterior uh, maxilla together with uh, the other professors. I also helped the dentist here in Japan, like most of the dentists that I see uh, around the world, uh, dentists are having problems with suturing uh, difficulties. So it takes me about 5 to 10 seconds to look at the doctor who's suturing and I can pinpoint what is the particular problem this doctor is having with suturing. Once I pinpoint the problem, I can tell them this is what they need to improve and uh, they got really nice results with their uh, suturing at the end of the program. So the uh, lecture and the hands-on went really really well uh, here's our last final uh, group photo uh, everybody there was in a great mood uh, the Japanese dentists are uh, a lot of fun to work with they're very inquisitive they have a lot of really good questions that make me as the teacher think about the answer and uh, I'm happy that I was able able to help them uh, they're also very big USC fans and uh, Trojan fans and at the end of the course, uh, everybody wanted to take pictures with the uh, professor. Uh, that's the tradition. And also, uh, it was a time to exchange business cards. And uh, I gave my own business cards that is in Japanese. Why? Because we're in Japan. So the business card is in the, in the local uh, language. Uh, I also was able to get a lot of uh, their business cards. And I hope to keep in touch with them. Uh, some of them had very uh, interesting and fun designs, uh, Japanese uh, style. And at the end of the course, we had uh, drinks, we had dinner, and uh, we basically celebrated the end of the curriculum for this course and uh, just had a good time together. Now, again, in the Japanese tradition, at least for that day, uh, we went to karaoke. And uh, for the first time in my life, I sang karaoke and my song of choice, and I thought it was appropriate, was the song Smile. I thought it was very appropriate for a dental course, a dental meeting. So uh, I even got some uh, applause and uh, they took some pictures of me. They probably felt bad for me and uh, it was just trying to be nice to me. But it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed working with them. Uh, they're a great group, very smart. They're coming here to the United States uh, in September, so I look forward to seeing them again. Uh, I also took one of the surgical master master blogs and translated it into Japanese. Uh, I wanted to get them started with our group, and hopefully, some of these uh, these dentists will, or all of them, will join our surgical master community, and we can interact and learn a lot in the future. So uh, that was the conclusion for um, for my Japan uh, journey. Um, I have to go back now, and back to number one, back to my family, back to my practice, back to uh, creating content for Surgical Masters so I can share it with you and, and help you. So I hope you enjoyed this quick report here from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the future, but in the meanwhile, keep learning, keep trying, stay in the game, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Arigato.